All right, so this is what I want you guys to go ahead and label on your paper. Exactly what I have up here, thematic element courage. Okay, so go ahead and label that at the top of your paper. Now, we've read almost all of part one in Mockingbird, all right? So we've gotten to know the characters in depth, okay? What I want you to do in this constructed response is I want you to explain how Harper Lee uses characters and events in Mockingbird to define courage, all right? So you are going to write a response that defines courage and explain how two different characters in the novel, how do they exemplify courage? And by exemplify, I mean explain courage, okay? So, your response needs to be at least eight to ten sentences long, all right? And it needs to demonstrate correct use of the semicolon and the comma and the conjunction, all right? When you have the two independent clauses together, all right, which is known as a compound sentence, all right? As well as how do we punctuate when we have the dependent clause, that is the clause that cannot stand on its own, it's not a sentence, all right? It needs an independent clause to follow it. How do you correctly punctuate that? All right? So, make certain you are answering all aspects of the prompt. Number one, you need to define courage in your own words. So you're paraphrasing. What is courage? Okay? Number two, you're going to identify two different characters in the text that exemplify courage. And then you are going to give me two details for each character, all right, supporting how they exemplify characters, or excuse me, how they exemplify courage, all right? So if you were going to pick Atticus, okay, you would have to give me two details for Atticus, two examples from the text. How does Atticus exemplify courage? And then if you picked um, Scout, for example, as your other character, you need to give me two separate details from the text on how Scout exemplifies courage. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Does that make sense? Yes? Um, can we use our books to look at for details? Yes, you may use your books for details. Okay? All right? The key word here that I want you to remember is the two details. And you guys are familiar with that from the benchmarks, okay? Because it's always, you always had to use the two supporting details from the reading selection. You've had to do that on your benchmark. All right? So, two details from the text. For one character, how they support, um, how they exemplify courage, and two details from the text for another character, telling me how they exemplify courage. All right? You also need, again, to make sure that you are using the semicolon in one of your sentences correctly. You are using the comma and the conjunction correctly. And then also, you need to write a sentence correctly punctuating a dependent clause with an independent clause. All right? Does anybody have any questions? Now, I will be walking around and I will assist you, all right, with the punctuation aspects. All right? You may use your notes for this, the notes that we've been taking on dependent, independent, you may use those as well, all right? But you need to make sure that you've got the eight to 10 sentences and that they're detailed. 
All right? So that's why I included this on the bottom. This is like your checklist. Did I do this? Did I define courage? Did I identify two characters who exemplify courage? Did I use two details from the text for each character that support that the character is courageous? All right? Have I used my semicolon correctly? Have I used the comma and the conjunction correctly? Have I used my dependent clause with an independent clause and punctuated that correctly? Okay? All right, so get out your books. If you have not um, done so already, get out any notes that you've taken on the punctuation um, that we've talked about with the clauses, okay? And get to work, all right?